Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm meteorologist Rachel Breyers, and here's a look at your one minute weather. Moral of the story this week, make sure you are prepared for a messy and wet week. You first off want to have that umbrella with you, but it's also a week you do want to stay weather aware. We do have that threat for flooding as we head into the next few days, and also for the potential of a few strong to even severe storms. Now, we saw some of those showers and storms pop up this morning. We should continue to see these scattered showers and storms as we head into this afternoon. Now, the main threats with any storm will be the potential for lightning and, yes, heavy rainfall, which could quickly cause ponding on roadways and also a little bit of that street flooding. So if you are going to be out driving in one of these storms, you do want to take it extremely slow because you could end up getting into some of that flooding, if, if, depending on where you are at that time. Now, we're going to continue to see that rain chance as we head into the rest of this afternoon. We should get a little bit of a break as we head into this evening. And then as we head into Tuesday, it could be kind of similar to today where we see a few of those showers and storms in the morning. And then we'll have that scattered chance for showers and storms as we head into the afternoon with increasing rain chances as we head into Tuesday night. That's when it looks like our next disturbance will push on in. And those rain chances actually is going to continue to go up as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. The reason for that is we're actually expecting a lot of moisture to be in place both of those days. And so on those days, we're going to be looking at even a higher potential of seeing that heavy rainfall, which again will lead us to our primary threat, which will be that threat for flooding. But I want to talk with our first threat, which is the threat also for a few isolated strong to severe storms. If we see a severe storm, main threats most likely going to be 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter sized hail. And although our tornado threat is low, it is not zero. So we cannot rule out an isolated tornado. We'll watch all these showers and storms though very closely as we head throughout the rest of the day today. Tomorrow, still an isolated threat for Houston, but up towards College Station in Huntsville and just north of Brenham, it's possible we could see a few scattered strong to severe storms in that area. It goes back down to an isolated chance across the entire area as we head into Wednesday. But I do think our main threat over the next few days will be that threat to see some of that flooding. You can see today looking at the potential for scattered instances of street flooding. Same thing as we head into Tuesday. Now, also both of those days, you can see that threat for flooding will be lower as we get closer to the coast, which is a good thing because a lot of areas closer to the coast just southwest of Harris County saw a lot of that heavier rainfall yesterday on Sunday and then Wednesday. There's my main day of concern this week. Numerous instances of street flooding is expected as we head into Wednesday. So we're going to be dealing with some very messy, messy weather as we head throughout the rest of this week. So here's a look at those rain chances today. 60% chance, 70% Tuesday, 80% on Wednesday. Another 70% chance again on Thursday. Friday, we'll start to see those rain chances go down a bit, and that downward trend will continue as we head into this weekend, but overall still going to have that chance for scattered showers and storms. It does look like we will eventually start to dry out, though, as we head into the following week.